Now, you want to talk about social commentary in your games. Let's not talk about Indigo Prophecy. Let's talk about no, Power let's World. Not. Let's talk about Power World. Power World? That sounds like a wholesome adventure with your buddies. Your pals, in fact. Those buddy pals are sure real friendly. They'll literally take a bullet for you. And cry. So, uh, Craftopia announced a new game called Pal World, where you collect and raise mysterious creatures called Pal in a next-gen open-world survival crafting game. And from what I can see, we got ourselves a little Temtem-style cute buddy adventure with you and your animal running around. Um, There's and the then recolors of what are obviously Pokemon. And exactly 11 seconds into the trailer, someone pulls a gun out and starts shooting at you. <laughs> As you surf on your bird. And you're like, that's gunfire. That's, I mean, a little extreme. Okay. But video All games right. do have shoot shooting mechanics pretty commonly. So fine. You know. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then the gunfire, and then the, the gun firing becomes more and more pronounced as you attack, as the, your monster attacks at the same time. And then you see your pals uh, building houses for you. And oh yeah, like, oh. And, and and mowing uh, and and harvesting wheats. And you're like, oh, okay. And then around a minute in, you pick up a little sheep, and it blocks bullets, as and it, it's crying, as it wails in tears. And then you and, toss it to the side like a piece of shit, and, and then it away with a shotgun. And then like, and they they continue to cut back to friendly uh, 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 adventuring. And then the last, like, 20 to 30 seconds are just, here's a shot of your pals building guns in a factory on a, on a fucking crying. assembly line. They're emaciated. They're miserable. Here here's is you sniping. You're poaching so many of these little bird fuckers that they're, like, being pushed out of the cage. They're crammed in a cage <laughs> as if it were a fucking PETA video. Um, here's a shot of your Zangoose looking pal blocking the bullets for you as, as you know, you fucking take your shots. You take cover behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your cute little monkeys churning the wheel literally like a donkey to keep the lights on. You notice that they're pot leaf monkeys? Are they? Is that? Oh, yeah. They're okay. green. They have fucking yep. pot leaves on their fucking yep. heads. They absolutely have marijuana leaves on their head. Perfect. And then you go fishing and you electrocute the entire lake and that, kill all that, the fish. That is the absolute. That's like, the one. It's funny because that's not a gun. But that's the one, though. But, you, but you, the idea of like, what if Ash strapped Pikachu to a fishing rod and went dynamite fishing with fucking Thunderbolt is the most incredible fucking thing. I can, because like, it's it, you because every <laughs> game, every game in the world, every single game ever made, fish catch a fish. You got a big one, yeah. Pow world, overfish the lake, kill everything, go on your merry way. You did it. You got them all. Oh, you could only carry like two of them though. To whatever, sell. just leave the rest to rot. <laughs> And then you go to the website, yes, and the website and... has screenshots of the, yeah. the fucking pals on the assembly line going, make sure to feed them because they will work in their factory until they die. So it's important, it's important to, after you see the trailer, then go see the official description. Exactly. So building. Do you want to build a pyramid? You can have a large number of pals work on construction. Don't worry, labor laws won't be applied to PALs. Factory and automation. It is essential for automation to let PALs do the manual work. Build a factory. Place PALs in it. They will work forever as long as they're fed until the end of their lifetime. <laughs> Dungeon exploration. With PALs, you'll be able to be safe in dangerous areas. If you're in danger, use pals to cover your escape. They'll give their lives to protect you. P 
poaching and crime. Endangered species pals live in the hunting prohibited area. If you sneak in and catch them, you'll get tons of money. It's only illegal if you get caught. This is the greatest fucking thing I've heard of. This is the greatest buddy monster game ever made. Free, easy, on a fucking rocket ship with a bullet. It, it is it is the game you and I and almost everyone I have ever met in my life at one point invented talking to their friends in elementary or high school. So I downloaded Temtem on my PS5. I'm about to go delete it. <laughs> because I don't have multiple Pokemon games left in me, but I do have the energy for something like this. For this. I got the energy for this. I can... <laughs> you know. It, it's... Um, wow. I... It... Oh, man. It's... So this is this is Cryotopia, uh, Craftopia, excuse me, and no, Craftopia is wait, is that the dev? Because they made a game called Craftopia. Pocket Pair, excuse me, Pocket, Pocket. Pair. Because Craftopia is their Breath of the Wild bre uh, build survival game that they made. Sure. Now, is that at all like? Let's find out. Tongue in cheek Good at about all? fucking. Uh 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 this type of this type of, of, of commentary and, and so humor? Recent reviews are mixed. General reviews are very positive. Yeah, I just want to know if Craftopia is calling out some wild bullshit practices. Because that's hilarious. Uh, I Yeah, and I see what you say when you go Breath of the Wild on it again. Yeah, okay. It's good. Breath of the Wild is going to get used when it's deserved and when it's not. It's just a thing now. Too bad. Uh, the main complaints about uh, Craftopia is that it's not finished, and people are mad that uh, they assume it will never be finished because they announced uh, Pocket Pals before... Sorry, Pal World before Craftopia got into a, a really good state. Okay. But prior has, to that, it has reviews were slavery. mostly very positive. So whether or not this is going to be good is fucking shrug? What... Uh... And this is why. This is why PETA is fucking worthless. Could this you imagine? This is like the game PETA would make to make fun of Pokemon and everyone. If they you know they stop doing it? After the kneeling animals? Yeah, sure. They stopped doing the fake, like, cockfighting murderous Pokemon games because everyone saw those and went, this is fucking lit. If you I'll play stupid, that. Stupid, stupid fools. If you had an ounce of fucking like competence and under and like and, and and actually understood how to communicate a message in some way that might actually be taken seriously for a half second. Look at the way this is being handled in this manner. Like this is exactly it, dude. Like it's fucking it's 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 insane, you know? I have to I have to say, dude, like cuz I got in a I got into um Factorio, I got into Satisfactory, I got all those types of games for a little while, and I'm, I'm going back to Satisfactory relatively soon. There's a very bizarre thing that happens with this genre that your morals invert. Right. Um, like, as because soon you as you start... It. As soon as you start playing, like, Factorio or, like, Satisfactory, you're like, I want to fucking scorch this planet into mm -hmm. a gray nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want and, and, to make it so that no life can grow. Calling attention to that is absolutely <laughs> overdue. You know? Um, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's incredible how effective that could be at getting that point across. Because, anyway, whatever. Not, not to dive down the fucking uh, animal husbandry is fucked up huh <laughs> i actually can't even think of a game that lets you go dynamite fishing i can't even think of one <laughs> it's it's again you you're willing i like the reveal on all of those things because you're willing to kind of 
twist your brain around to be like, wow, guns plus Pokemon? That's fucking weird, but I guess, right? And then they kick it forward a little bit. And they <laughs> kick it forward a little bit. And then they kick it forward a little bit. Slowly dial the knob. Yep, yep. Boil the frog. That's it, that's it. Like, the, the trailer's so masterfully crafted, because you, you're right. Like, the first gunfire is sandwiched between, like, wholesome flying and, like, riding a cart. And and then it, then it's like, oh, we're running, oh, we're building. And, like, the guns don't show up for, like, a little while again. And you kind of forget about it. You know, oh, they're farming. Oh, they're farming. He's shearing some sheep. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. War zone. Yeah. Rocket yeah. launcher. Oh, it's like, camping. Oh, good camping. Petting your friend. Trading. Like, like it's, it's incredible. If Act 3 of this game is about, like, uh-oh, the evil nation has gotten their hands on Iveltal and their <laughs> and nuclear deterrence is now no longer an option. You must <laughs> use eugenics to breed the strongest pal to deter those those dirty people across the border. We have a Lugia. <laughs> we can we and we have time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Breed the answer out until you have your own legendary. And it's like, and then, then there's the tutorial, which is, what do you do with pals that don't come out of the breeding process the way you want? And then it's just like, that's okay. Put them into the feed machine and they can be transported to the factory to feed your workers. There's <laughs> there's egg fusion. There's already a shot of two eggs slamming together. Yeah, but like, like just, demon just fusion. Go, go, just just go hard on all of it and you know? have it be chipper and happy. And like and and when and even though you're putting bags on your personas' heads and cutting them off and then they're exploding into a new form, you're like, yeah, but these are just concepts and you're in a fake place. Those are all spirits and concepts and <laughs> you know, but they're not alive. Yeah, they're not alive. They have no souls. A hundred percent. Yep. 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 No, this... If this is the trailer, like, this can go to the darkest, most fucked up places if they wanted to just <sighs> send the message home. And the question is, is do they have the balls to? I'm going to go ahead like, and guess yes, because they've already decided to put this this game out commercially. Like I like so, let's say they don't finish Craftopia, right? Like, and they're the, the the type of studio that thinks about like, oh, we'll early access this until we early access the next one. This one, guys. Pal World's the one. And Focus I think, on that one. And I think the most fucked up thing that could happen to a game like this is it becoming a breakout success. Where they're forced to keep making, to build on it, expand it, make more. Oh, you know, man. Just fully franchise this energy. The worst thing that could happen. Anyway. Um, Coming soon to update 3.2. Wage theft. Figure out how to skim a little extra off the top by screwing up your pal's hours at the factory. <sighs> the hyperbolic time chamber allows you to turn dinosaur style pals into oil for your energy uses. <laughs> like, it, there's. It, yep. it, it just goes. Yep. It yep. just goes. Yep. Everything. Everything. Yep. Absolutely. Whatever you want it to be. Need extra cash? Sell some of your pals to sick freaks and don't think about what happens to them. <laughs> it's, there's no limit. Now the question is is basically, like, what are they gonna do for like like his Pokemon pass out and then wake up uh, in the Pokemon Center when Nurse Joy revives them? Like, are we in a world where there's pal permadeath? I'm gonna go ahead and oh, assume oh, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna assume so. I'm I'm waiting for the cutscene like, where you fight youngster Joey and he sends out his Electabuzz knockoff 
and you beat it, and then you pull out your pistol and ice him. <laughs> like, and you go, should have trained harder, Joey. New game Enjoy normal difficulty is literally a Nuzlocke. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> turn, could, uh, a craft to turn your your downed, po your downed pal into uh, uh, items and feed for the rest of your team. Good times. The Team Rocket Simulator we've always wanted. Or God forbid there be um, evolution branches where, you know, like there's a couple of different <laughs> Vulpix communities uh, are, are uh, near each other. Uh, not Vulpix. Um, um, uh, 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 Flareons and Jolteons and Espeons. EV communities. EV communities not getting along with each other. Do your thing. It's, it's just... How do you evolve a Pikachu into a Raichu? Don't give him a Thunderstone. Just shock the shit out of him eight hours a day, and he'll eventually turn into a bigger one. Get the chair out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like what I used to, I used to make jokes during Pokemon about like shoving the evolution stones down their throats, you know. And it's yeah. like, nope, we're here. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we're here. Uh, anyway, Pal World, uh, eyes out for that one.